What is up, bros? Josh here. In today's video is all about the Jean Bart and is it worth it? The tier 9 French battleship, the premium French battleship. And this is one of the ships that probably comes up and gets asked the most in uh, my stream on people asking is it worth it or not or should they get it because it's one of the few ships you can actually get through coal and in the arsenal. Now, one of the things we will talk about too is there's two different values on this ship. Now, if you go to the arsenal, it has a price well into the 200,000s of coal, but you can actually use your coupon as well to save you some coal and get it a bit cheaper near the 170,000 mark. But also, we will discuss that price as well as the price of the premium shop. So, what Wargaming has started to do is sell premium ships, the tier 9 premium ships, the higher premium ships. For uh, in the in the shop themselves for a set amount of uh, of actual dollars instead of you know an in-game currency. But one of the best parts about this ship, the Jean Bart, is you can technically get it for free. So throughout this video, I'll talk about the two different barrier prices. Well, actually, let's just get one out of the way. I do not think any of the tier nine prices are worth it. I really don't. Um, the tier nine, that's the actual dollars. Uh, I just don't feel like a ship in this game, honestly, is worth $70, $80, depending on where you are in the world. I'm going to mainly look at just USD because that's the, the currency that I use. But whatever the conversion is for you guys, you can go off of that. But I believe the Jean Bart as well as the Alaska ships like that are going for around $70 plus, dollars, plus the packs. I, don't, I do not think there is a ship in this game that is worth that price tag. However, the best part about that is you can actually get this ship for free through using coal. So, throughout this video, we will discuss that price. And so, let's just get the elephant out of the room and say, I just don't think any of these ships in this game are worth that much money. Obviously, if you have the cash and you want to get it, you definitely can. One of the things, though, about this ship and even another ship like the Alaska is you can get them by just playing the game. However... Coal will take a bit longer uh, to get just because it takes some time and you can only get so much per day. But again, this is a ship you can technically get for free. So let's dive into the hit points itself. 69,000 HP. Nice. Uh, one of the lower ones at this tier, though, and this ship itself gets a lot of grief, I would say, from people that it's basically a tier 8 ship and a tier 9 body. And it's pretty much the Richelieu. If you've played the tier 8 battleship for the, US, or for the French battleship line... It looks very much at home, and you are kind of used to it. Two turrets in the front, um, but 69,000 HP and the armor itself, it's not very armored. Although you can bounce some shells, obviously, if you are angled enough, and you can get into some situations where you will kind of uh, be able to bow tank a bit. But the thing that you, if you've ever played a French battleship, is you are going to be constantly moving and trying to get on the flank because these ships are extremely fast. But not too much armor really to play with, 32 millimeter plating, kind of normal. Um, but again, you're you're not going to be out bow tanking most things you want to keep moving with this ship and use its certain little secret that it has for the ability to get into spots we can do lots of damage the turrets though two times four they're both in the front one of the worst things well best things about this is you don't need to really give up broadside to shoot them because one is on top of each other and you can shoot them both forward downside about this if you lose one of them in a gunfight you are down half your firepower so a bit of a bummer there it definitely does happen Although the, the front part of the turret is pretty strong at 430 millimeters, you can definitely knock them out. And if you get them on the side, high part or the side, um, or even the lower plate right there, the uh, this 120 millimeter part, if you can get that, you can knock them out, break them, and then <laughs> make a Jean Bart feel very bad. In the past ranked battles with the arms raise, I remember I was fighting Jean Bart versus Jean Bart. He was trying to pen my bow. I was going for his guns. In the end, I had... <laughs> I had both of my guns with a little less life. He had a little bit more life, but none of his guns. So you can definitely pick on some Jean Barts. It is their weakness only having two turrets, but still two sets of four 380 millimeters. So on the lower end for the side at a 22.9 second reload, not including uh, not including adrenaline rush. One of the things I will point out, though, is that this reload booster or this reload speed is off the main battery mod three. So it would be a tad more if you want to go with or with something else one of the things though is i don't really feel like you need any more gun range 24.5 is plenty secondary range sure you can but i think it's all about main battery on the jean bart obviously you can pick aa if you want i think main battery is probably the best one you go with but i go with concealment expert as well concealment expert the concealment module 
the steering gears. Now you could easily pick up propulsion, but I find myself constantly moving in this, so steering gears is my go-to. And you're not really going to build too much of a survivability build because, again, you are going to be moving all the time. Aiming system mod 1. Now this is completely up to the player. Again, I think the Jean Bart is mainly about its guns. However, you could get some extra range on your secondaries if you really want to. I find I want my guns to be as punishing as possible. Um, the speed boost is fantastic. You could easily pick this up with coal if you can, or if you have one laying around. Now, um, this is fantastic because, again, you want to be moving and mobile. And then not getting those guns knocked out is very, very important. Consumables, one of the things that sets us apart, but, of course, uh, premium repair, premium uh, uh, premium uh damage control premium repair premium speed boost and then premium main battery reload so this is one of the things that sets us apart and kind of gives the french lines its identity both on the cruisers as well as you see on the borgonia as well and the le terrible the uh, french destroyer the premium is the main battery reload booster so main battery reload booster negative 50 percent so it cuts that 23 second reload in half and then it's activation for 20 seconds so for uh, basically, you're going to get a, about a, a, a salvo and a half for free about um, with that. So it's kind of nice, and it lets you get a lot of damage out, especially if a battleship has burnt its repair. Um, you can switch to HE really fast. Or one of the main things is switching between ammos. If something is starting to give you a broadside, uh, you can switch to AP, dev strike them, switch back to HE blah, 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 whatever the situation. Reload time, uh, 114 seconds, and then number of consumables, five seconds. So this is a fantastic one. And of course, we will work with the captain throughout this entire thing. Um, we did end up picking up Jean-Jacques, which is fantastic. Adrenaline rush boosted right there. If you can pick up one of them or the brothers, um, I would highly recommend that. And then expert marksmanship. Again, you don't really see too much for survivability here. Although we do have basic survivability, I just think that's fantastic. But pretty normal preventive maintenance obviously adrenaline rush getting that boosted one you have superintendent concealment expert aft which will help us with our aa extra marksmanship and pretty basic 19 point build um back to the stats though aa defense is actually very high uh 88 on the rating and you're going to be shredding a lot of planes with this the french line is known for having a lot of aa so definitely worth it but the speed 31 knots 31 and a half knots again you'll be rocking that uh that propulsion boost almost the for a long long time so that'll get you extremely fast and get you into spots where you can flex a lot far a lot faster um, from one side of the map to the other and really make up a lot of time and a lot of speed turning radius 850 meters kind of like almost like a cruiser level rudder shift at 12.8 and then detectability by c 12.9 um, that's with consumer and that so let's dive into some gameplay show you this and just show you how much fun and how effective this ship can be that not only changing the game with that reload booster as well as just having a lot of fun and showing you how many credits you can earn with this as well now one of the things you will notice when i'm playing the jean bart whenever i play it or when really anybody's ever playing the jean bart is you will be using two ammo types both ammo types both he and ap and it's really situational on which one is going to be the best. And obviously, at the start of the game, I'll, you'll see me almost always put, put on my speed boost and get me into a better situation. Because one thing you're doing is trying to read the map, read the flow of teams, and get yourself onto those broadsides. Not, it's not that the AP on this sh ship is bad. It's a high velocity, and you can absolutely shred those... Uh, those you know upper upper structures the upper armor belt stuff like that you can easily do that but the thing is you want to get that broadside because if you can pop that reload booster again you have uh you have you know battleship ap with a you know a 12 second 11 second reload not using any adrenaline rush you can get that down to like eight or nine seconds i believe with adrenaline rush if you're low enough but something you will see me do is shoot heavy shoot often and shoot both ammo types so as soon as this uh, Yamato or this Musashi here gets within range you will see me always start rocking uh, salvos in and that's also something you want to keep an eye on with the reload booster is if something is within range you want to uh, use that reload booster to um, get those fires stuck so if he if he reps one fire I would probably pop a reload booster instantly and then try to get that sticky fire on him if I can but using both uh, both ammo types is really a key to the success and uh, one thing is, yeah, Battleship HE is its own meme and blah, 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 but this is something that it's almost, I would say it's almost a tad more on a cruiser side of 
of, of playing than, than more of a battleship. But one thing you can do is have the ability to just pump out so much battleship damage um, compared to everything else. A little unlucky on that salvo. But again, as you see, there's not really... I'm, I'm going, what, 32 plus knots faster than that with this speed boost. So I'm going to be able to flex into spots that most battleships wouldn't be able to. Iowa probably full speed is so far behind me. Um, and that's one thing that I love about the Jean Bart is you can make up a lot of room and get into spots where the team is having some trouble. And you'll see our team have some trouble this game and my ability to kind of rotate over and kind of make some plays happen, which is one thing that I love about the Jean Bart is the Jean Bart is such a playmaker. Um, and two, again, AP is, and this is a perfect example. So the, the reload booster is looking for a few things as you see instantly. Uh, saw him turning broadside, shot my HE salvo, and then switched over to AP, and we'll still even snag him with an AP salvo right here. I think he gets extremely lucky on this salvo. Oh, he gets wrecked right there. I forgot. And um, and there we go. So, again, the ship itself, uh, kind of not known for being super accurate. There's our first kill of the game, and we have that ability to do that with the reload booster. So that is kind of the impact you can have. And you'll actually see a good example of how kind of lightly armored the Jean Bart is but again as you see right here we're gonna be shooting down some planes hopefully I think this one gets through um, but you'll see the Musashi kind of punch me in the nose a little bit and that's something to be expected when you're playing this ship you aren't the most tanky ship uh, when it comes to tanking shells and whatnot you have to be very careful with what you engage with um, because you will just get overmatched you'll get picked on and you just have to know what your strength is um, and again, I think he's going to hit me right here, but using both ammo types. Uh, but one thing you're looking for is the is the flow of the enemy team. Again, I I basically saw that nothing was happening this side. And there we go. So there's a nice 15k salvo. Nothing I really could have done with my ammo or with my armor. And it's just something that you get kind of used to, I guess. But one of the things is, though, we can put pressure on this team, kind of go dark, make this turn with our agility and uh, potentially put in another strike on the Sabuki and get him uh, at least hurt. Uh, watch out, Akatsuki coming through. Um, but again, reading the map is really important when it comes to the ship because you want to put your aggression somewhere. And um, it, it, because you have just that pure ability to pump out raw damage with that reload consumable. And really, I see when I see some people even when they stream it, I see some people um, kind of holding on to their reload boosters. I use them. We have five of them. I use them pretty regularly, and uh, I don't feel like there's really a reason to kind of hold on to them because if you're holding on to them, like, what, what are you going to do? Save them for the next game as we smack that that uh, Kiev. And honestly, I probably would have started to push middle here right through that gap if that Kiev would have been there. And I think our Alaska, we have Helena here too. Um, we're gonna start pushing through. So I'm trying to weigh out what's happening. Our team on the other side, although they had numbers, they're starting to get picked on a little bit. And I just wanna kind of rotate over and still trying to find that. One of the things that's really nice about this ship is that it's a fantastic credit farmer. Um, at tier nine, you tend to do a lot of damage. And if you guys didn't know, uh, your credits earned is kind of based off how much damage well not kind of it's based off how much damage you do and um, There is a lot of situations though where you do find yourself as you see the Iowa was sailing broadside But uh, I'd had HE loaded so it kind of would have been a waste to shoot at him Because um, we didn't have AP loaded as I get AP going again, and of course he rolls away So we wanted to use that salvo, but we get an almost 11k salvo double fire on the Musashi and are using our reload booster. I was hoping I could maybe get another salvo on the Iowa, um, but I'll get one on the Musashi. And uh, again, switching back, lots of ammo type switches, uh, getting into situations where you're looking for, um, if a, obviously the Musashi repped his fire, get it into a spot where you can get those repairs used and then force those repairs and keep running. And then again, lighting something on fire, Switching targets, lighting something on fire, switch targets. But again, back to the credit earnings. The one thing that's really nice about this is since the Missouri is so hard to get these days, really only in the super containers or in other containers, the Jean Bart is a fantastic and probably one of the best ones um, for actually just getting a good credit earning cruise or credit earning ship in the game. Technically, it's free and you can really make a big impact because of how credits are earned. Credits are earned through how much damage you do. 
And one of the things you end up doing a lot with this is doing is using HE. And so with that, you tend to do a lot of damage on average. It's really even up there with the Musashi. And I tried to maybe sneak that over and it didn't quite work. So as you see right now, we're starting to drop some ships. We lost a Nabuki, a Colorado, a Helena. And they've only lost a... Um, We've only lost a buffalo, the one we killed kind of earlier, so we still have the only kill. But the thing is, uh, lightly armored cruisers against the Ishan Bart, since it has the lower millimeter, is for, against the USN, it is nasty. It is so nasty um, to shoot against stuff like the Wooster, Seattle, stuff like that, or even broadside Ibukis um, that don't give you the respect that you deserve. Um, you're still a battleship, even though your caliber is relatively small. Um, so this is where you start to make that Jean Bart push, and you really aren't too scared. The plane, the, the CB might drop on me, sure, that's fine. We have a decent A, but I see other ships like the Kiev, Double Atlanta, everything else is rotating that way. I want cruisers, I want broadsides, so let's rotate. Um, let's rotate uh, kind of south, kill these off, and we have that speed to kind of catch them up because this team is kind of starting to get some stuff, uh, starting to kind of lose control over this as our other side has kind of just really held on and, and just kind of lost a lot. But light armored cruiser, broadside, that's exactly what you want. And uh, one dev strike to, or well, I guess it technically wasn't a dev strike, but that one was. So let's get that one done, and we're starting to bring it back. Again, the other Atlanta is super low, and we have three over four kills. We have to be a little careful here um, with this Kiev and uh, continuing to just fire and getting as many broadsides. Again, trying to relocate, get into positions where we can do damage and get into spots where we can citadel stuff, do lots of damage, and uh, kind of make up for lost time for our team. Um, but again, though, I think this is probably one of my go-to. Obviously, there are other ships uh, at Tier 9. A lot of people would consider this uh, what the competition is. It's the Jean Bart versus Salem for uh, for high-tier coal ships. And uh, this, I just feel like, is better for earning credits overall because you just end up doing more damage and the Salem actually doesn't get the same kind of credit multiplier as other premium ships would. We have a little bit of a Mexican standoff here. Obviously he only has a little bit of life, but I'm not really trying to trade all my life to kill a 700 life Kiev because I feel like this is one of those games that if I died, we might end up losing it. So we just kind of kind of calls bluff here and see what happens while still kind of pumping out damage and hopefully getting a few more dev strikes or some more citadels and really trying to make a big impact on the game. But for some reason, this guy played this the way he played it. Don't think that was the best idea, but uh, hey, we'll take that and we'll snag our fourth kill of the game. But again, our ability to just kind of flex over and use those reload boosters and get into a spot that a lot of other battleships probably wouldn't have um, has kind of brought us back. And we're just going to go right through B cap because we can continue to fire, puts pressure on this team, and um, get those caps back. And again, still even uh, rotating around and trying to get those broadsides on that Um broadsides on that uh, Musashi. One of the things I did notice too was um, when I was playing this in ranked battles this last season is how good this thing can be at brawling. And the reason that it's so good at brawling is because it's so fast. And one of the things you can actually pick on is the Musashi because the Musashi's turrets turn so slow compared to this. So one of the things I would do is keep a good angle, bounce as many targets as I can, and then just wait and get on that broadside and then just move faster than Musashi uh, Musashi turrets can move because he just can't keep up. So you kind of can just sail around in circles on a lot of battleships because you move so fast and their turrets move so slow, you can really get into your, into a good spot. And using that reload booster like I am right now, uh, going against the hood, again, using both HE and AP, if you're only using one ammo type on this battleship, you're really kind of playing it wrong. It, the other battle, the other ammo types are so good. And actually, shout out to our Azumo, um, 2K Life, and 2K Life. He ends up getting into a spot where um, I wasn't sure exactly what was going to happen. Put like a 20K salvo into our Musashi, and then ended up getting the ram on the hood. I didn't know if that was going to be a good shot on the hood or not. But um, ended up getting about a 20, uh, like a 30k trade on a 2k life battleship. People may seem like trading a tier 9 for a tier 7 is a bad trade. But that life trade was fantastic. So um, it's not that it's not a bad idea to ram every once in a while. Especially when you can trade up like that. So he did the right thing too about 
focusing its his shells, his, his guns on one ship, secondaries and the actual ram on another ship. But again, right here, we have the smaller caliber. If the Masashi kind of angles in, we can't really do too much, but we have solid HE and can really make uh, a lot of damage happen. And kind of just kite this out uh, north side. And we're trying to figure out what the best play is. Our lightning, I think, is going to get detected here for somehow. And one of the things I can do is kind of let our Alaska hold down mid. Uh, since they have, we have all three caps. Um, they aren't really making any uh, push here, so we can kind of just kind of burn them all down in a way. We have our C CV too. I thought maybe again switching up ammo types. We're getting a broadside on this Musashi. I think we just miss it honestly. Um, but that's one thing you're gonna do a lot with this ship, and is just cycle through ships and light a fire, light a fire, light a fire. Wait for somebody to make that mistake by hitting the R button. Again, a little bit of a bummer. CV will eventually just kill off. Uh, we'll eventually just kill off our DD, so we gotta be a little bit careful. And this ended up actually being a bit of an awkward spot, but I was like, wait a second, those torps might hit. And the Masashi ends up taking a bunch of torps here, and of course, we're gonna secure that with a bit of an AP. And we end up shooting down those planes as well, so we'll take that. Nice little broadside. There is our crack of lacking. And we have three caps. They aren't near any of them. And uh, it's me. Uh, my Alaska, RCV, so we'll have some spots as well against an Iowa, as well as an Ibuki. So as long as I don't take a bunch of torps or this don't get detonated or something like that, um, we're going to be in a pretty good spot. So I see the Ibuki here, and we're trying to debate, should I push? Should I get into a spot where uh, um, I don't, we didn't really know what to do at this point? If the Ibuki, I thought the Ibuki might have turned uh, a bit right here. And this is also, again, this... The AP on this ship is not terrible, um, yeah, even though we shoot a lot of... We got a little unlucky, but I'll still take a 13k salvo on a cruiser any day. Um, a bit of a bummer we didn't get a, a, a Citadel. I bet you we were just a tad off from that. But uh, the AP on this ship is still solid. So when people say, man, you shoot a lot of HE or blah, 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 I'm really looking just for consistent and trying to force that repair on a lot of ships and, and really, really take advantage of, of what... You can really do with this ship, I guess, with its HE and the reload consumable. So right now, um, with the Abuki going that way, we'll have spots on him, on him as well. Is so I think I'm gonna get a little bit spicy um, on this Iowa. We're gonna see kind of how he plays it. We're gonna shoot down some planes as well. But we have one more reload consumable, and um, we're gonna try to aim for the guns right here. So he's gonna drop a couple torps. Not have to worry about it too much and get us a little bit more XP. So again, even in bowing targets, if you're shooting the upper armor belt, upper superstructure, you can take, you can chunk uh, even in Iowa, angled in Iowa for a lot of damage. And shout out to the Iowa. <laughs> he was Camelus, he was focused not on me. So he did make this a little easy for us. Um, again, though, if you saw that salvo, that was pretty typical. Um, you will get good salvos, you will get bad salvos, but that is why I take the aiming system um, module because of the just kind of inconsistency that this ship has in the long run. We want it to be as accurate as possible. And again, that's why we don't take the secondary one that we would maybe on like the Alsace, um, the tier nine French tech tree battleship. But he's gonna go in, we're gonna shoot right onto those front guns, and I think we get robbed here. Yeah, we got a little robbed there, um, but uh, we will pop the reload consumable, give us another chance, and as you saw, already have another salvo up. He ends up shooting down my front gun. I think we're actually a tad behind here, but we get a citadel there. So, a bit of a bummer that he knocks us out, but we can continue to be aggressive. And one thing too, I wasn't quite sure if I wanted to get a little greedy, and uh, we'll get that go right there. Another citadel and really just do Sean Bart things. You can just be so aggressive when it comes to this ship. You can really make some plays and just be a force to be reckoned with using your citadels, hitting your W key, of course shredding planes as well, and the agility to just get into spots where you can do so much damage and <laughs> our Alaska murders the Ibuki. But this type of gameplay isn't really that rare for this ship because of its ability to flex so much and just get yourself into the spots. You have the perfect mix of speed, agility, um, guns, good guns uh, with uh, with that reload consumable, and you can just be such a playmaker. So in the short, is this ship worth it? 100%. I love this ship. I think it's so fun. It's probably my go-to, not that it's a better 
I don't think there's anything better in this game for earning credits than the Missouri because of the Missouri's actual credit earning potential with its buff. But I find the Jean Bart to be probably the most, and this is my opinion, the most fun credit farmer in the game. Best part about the Jean Bart is you can technically get it for free just by playing. It will take you a while, but use your clan, uh, use your clan bonus to get the, the extra bit of coal. Get out there, do your coal coal dailies, uh, get your resource containers, and you can eventually just get the ship for free. Now, again, I believe it's 223000 for the ship itself, somewhere around there. And I believe with the uh, with the actual coupon, you can get down to 171000 Now, I always recommend using the coupons for steel ships because steel ships steal so much more rare. But if you have no interest in steel ships, the Jean Bar is a fantastic pickup. And in my opinion, again, one of the best ships for farming credits and just so much fun to play. You can't go wrong with this ship. But I will say, though, I do not think this ship is worth it for the price tag that it had when it was in the premium store. I just don't think any of the ships that are gonna be sold in that 70 plus dollar range, remember that's USD, 70 plus dollar range are worth it. I don't think anything in this game is really worth that. Although if you have the money and you wanna get it, you just don't have the time to grind that much coal, you won't be, uh, you won't be let down. It's so much fun to play, and you will definitely enjoy this ship. One of my favorite ships, definitely worth picking up. Out of all the coal ships, obviously there's a few fun low-tier ones. I think this is probably the best coal ship in the game, and um, definitely worth it. I get a lot of questions, coal or the Jean Bart. I think that's an easy choice. Jean Bart is an easy pickup. Super unique play style, super fun play style, and you can't really go wrong and get yourself a whole bunch of credits. But Really good game there too. A lot of fun and you can't go wrong with the Jean Bart. So is it worth it? Yes, go get it if you can. Save up if you can. Keep playing it and go have some fun, earn some credits and just have some fun, fun Jean Bart games. Anyways, guys, that's it for me. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think of the Jean Bart, the tier nine French battleship. But remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.